Previously on Sam and Dan. What do we have here, Dad? So we've got this weird map, and something is supposed to happen leading up until a hugely cosmic event four days from today. On February the 6th, something happens at the Stones of Conscience. Sam, what happened to you? On February the 7th, at the place where two bridges meet. This place is full of electromagnetic energy. But why? February the 8th, the secret lies with Elizabeth. When the map said that the secret lies with Elizabeth, the only thing I could think of was Elizabeth Porter, the first person to die and be buried in the city. So here we are at the oldest cemetery in the city. Hey, Dad, what's that over there? And then on February 9th, at Stone's Folly, the vortex is supposed to appear above it. Well, I went over to the Historical Society today and I found some very interesting information about this professor's school field. First, I was able to find a really old map of the city. And what really kind of surprised me is that if you look at the three small uh, triangles, the places that they represent, it actually forms one big triangle on the map, which I thought was really strange. But I know that he was obsessed with rectangles and triangles. He thought that triangles had some type of secret knowledge. The other thing that I found very interesting is that the Historical Society was able to look in their archives and found, find his old papers. And it turns out his main area of research was in time travel. He was obsessed with the idea of time travel. And as I had shared with you before, he disappeared 140 years ago when his lab burned down and when they went inside to find him, he was nowhere to be found inside the lab. What does all this mean, Dad? Well, let's go back and look at everything that's happened in the last three days. Three days ago, we found the Stones of Conscience, and when we were there, there was all this electromagnetic energy, and then we disappeared and reappeared somewhere else. When we finally got back to the Stones of Conscience, we saw ourselves. It was like we had been teleported back in time just a little bit, just enough time, to get to where it took us to, and then see ourselves disappear again. The next day, when we went to the place where two bridges meet, what happened? We saw the medevac helicopter, which you hardly ever see, they're very rare, and then just a few minutes later, we saw it again. We experienced some kind of time anomaly that allowed us to see that helicopter again. Well then, when we went to the cemetery, there was all that electromagnetic energy coming from Elizabeth's grave, which I suspect is not a grave at all. I suspect it's actually part of this machine that Professor Schoolfield built and placed in four different places of the city that all work together to open a time portal. And what I think is going to happen is that today, on February the 9th, at Stone's Folly, I think Professor Schoolfield is going to return. The reason he disappeared 140 years ago was because he was teleported to the future to Ayrton today. Dad, what's Stone's Folly? Well, that was the hardest part of this mystery for me to solve. What was Stone's Folly? But the people at the Historical Society, they actually knew what it was. You see, about 160 years ago, Erastus Stone, one of our town's founders, he tried to build this huge mansion, but he ran out of money and everybody made fun of him uh, calling it Stone's Folly. Well, Stone's Folly was eventually tore down, but today 
there is a skyscraper that sits on top of it in the shape of a strange rectangle, just like this map. So I think that the event of cosmic proportions that is supposed to occur at Stone's Folly today is going to happen at that building downtown. There it is. That's the building that's built on the location of Stone's Folly. I've heard that there's a secret room at the top that only a select few can enter into. Come on, let's get closer. Professor Schoolfield! It looks like he traveled to Air Tom, but then got sucked back into the time portal again, and I have no idea where it could have taken him. Hey, what is that? What is that? Hey, it looks like it's falling in the park. Let's go see if we can find it. I think I saw it fall over here somewhere. Yeah, there it is over there. It's a black obelisk. I think it's just beginning. Hey, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button.